Hi everybody and welcome to my Agrarian Skies Let's Play. So I left this off for a while because um, I really got into Sky Factory, but also it's the fact that there's a lot of work to be done here. <laughs> so I realized I, I just needed to take a lot of time in between episodes to really just get as many ores as I can, which is just basically, I mean, look what I'm doing. I'm taking a hammer and just breaking this one by one and getting gravel. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. It's really tedious. Also, I also need cobble for some things. So then, you know, you could see how slow it is. It's just, it's, it's really, really slow. So <laughs> it's taking me a really long time. So I realized after doing this over and over and making stacks of cobble and, um, and gravel, and then, for instance, sometimes, because we need redstone and a lot of other items as well, I break this up into sand, and now my hammer broke. Wonderful. Okay, so you can see how much fun I'm having. <laughs> it's just one of those points, you know, when you're playing these mod packs that you're kind of like, you really have to do this tedious job, really. There's, another, there's no other way around it. So, And since we cannot make the transfer nodes uh, in this mod pack, as far as I know, I don't know if later on I can or it's just you can't at all it's totally blocked or something um that would have been a great way to continue this series right now but we can't so let's work around that here we go I got some dust and then I go over here and I use the sieve and you know it's very very slow very slow I mean I'm hours and hours just working on this just to get a few little bit of ores not very much so what I've been doing is getting the the um actual dust uh, the pulverized, I'm sorry, ores, and then I've been using the furnace, and actually, oh, there we go, some silver ingots, and making ores, so that's what I'm trying to do so we can move forward, so, yeah, like I said, it's, it's super slow, so, what I've decided to do is, oops, let me just, I'm trying to organize my stuff correctly, because <laughs> I always, uh, I always make it messy, uh, let's see where that, there, there it was, so there we've got some redstone, some bone meal, some surges. Okay, so what I've decided to do is kind of hold off on quest right now. I've got my quest book uh, safely away just in case I fall off the world, off the platform, which, you know, could happen. So <laughs> I'm not I'm not surprised if it does. So, yeah, so I put that away, and what I'm doing is just collecting ores and processing ores. And what we're going to do is I'd like to craft, and first off, I want to craft an igneous extruder. So there we go, igneous extruder. So we need glass, a piston, um, let's see, let's see, we need a glass, oh, I'm sorry, glass, piston, pneumatic servo, and some tin ingots. So I'm working on that. Uh, we still don't have tin, do we? No, not yet. So I'm working on that. Just wanted to give you a little idea of what I'm doing. Then what we're going to do is definitely we want to make a pulverizer. Um, so at least one for now. You know, I don't have to go crazy, but this is going to help so much because I'm just going crazy. So once I have an ignition extruder making cobble, because this way I don't have to break the cobble that you see in my cobble generator, which is just, it's a great little generator, but it really is slow. So it's a lot easier if I can actually, you know, get a little bit of automation. It's not going to be very much, but at least get started here. So we're going to make a pulverizer and then... Yeah, and then we want to make eventually, which I might not be able to in this episode, an autonomous activator, which, uh, let's see, I think it was, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's a little more expensive recipe than the normal one, I believe. <laughs> this has been a little changed up a little, but, you know, it can be done with one sieve. So that'll save me huge amounts. Now, remember, the pulverizer is the only one that I'm going to need to power up. So I guess to start... To start, I'll probably just um, probably just use a survivalist engine because it looks like we can make a survivalist engine here, which I can't believe. So, yeah, it has not been deactivated. So that's pretty that's pretty impressive. I can't believe that. So let's actually go ahead and make that first because that's a really easy recipe. Just gonna grab a few more of these. Okay, so let's first make our furnace. Let's do that. There we go. And I need a few more. We'll make that engine running. We'll have the engine run for a little while. Have it save up a little power. Because I do have coal. I have collected quite a bit of coal from just using uh, gravel in the sieve. So that's pretty good. Let's see how many we need here. Like five of them, I think, I want to say. Okay, so let's, let's see right here. This was a very easy recipe. Okay. So let me grab some redstone. We need two. And we need one iron ingot, 
you know, it's like so funny because in any other, you know, in any other mod pack, I think by now I'd have been way ahead of the game and this would be like a cinch to make, but it's getting like really, really difficult. <laughs> Very slow moving for me. So there we go. So we got our survivalist engine. Awesome. So we will place that just to kind of get it going. Whoops, I fell in the water. Um, gosh, where am I going to start placing some kind of machinery? I didn't really set up a platform. Uh, we can do it maybe like uh, I could do it here. No, I'm going to do it here to be safe. I'm going to place one here. And we are going to fill that up with coal. Have that get some power. Then I'll work on the igneous extruder and the pulverizer and the autonomous activator. Those three machines I really want to get going. Um, yeah, I had a whole bunch of coal saved up, which I had coal. I know, I know. I had a stack and I put it in my furnace, which I probably should, shouldn't have placed in the furnace. But all right, so I could still use a lot of, I usually use wood for now in the beginning in the furnace. So there we go. Great. So this is going to power a long, long time. They go, there we go. So let it collect a good amount of RF because once we get that pulverizer in there, it's going to just, you know, it's going to use a lot of power quickly. So I might as well have this, like, have this buffer get filled up in the meantime. Why not? So we'll do that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working on my very slow process of getting ores. Uh, I do have to process tin. So let's see which one. This is the tin, right? So actually just grab all of this and go over here and this is basically what I'm doing what I've been doing which is super slow and tedious so there you go then I make a giant stack I think I've shown you this before I just want to show you again this is just how I'm trying to process as quickly as possible but this is good now this is just the beginning we'll make as many machines as we can and hopefully make the process just a, you know a lot easier I might still have to move stacks from the pulverizer here and there, but you know what? It's going to be a lot better, so I uh, can't compare. So let's go ahead and use our crushed... Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Our crushed tin ore. I know for a lot of you this is basic, but there might be people who are watching that don't really know, so I'm just going to do a real quick run through, and then we process this one. This just gives us a little extra ore. Once I get a smeltery, it'll be a lot easier as well. So I do have to get a smeltery going, but there's so much to do still and a lot of steps. So a lot of things that are very basic, I like to do in between episodes. I'm going to try to do that. So as not to bore you guys too much, but, uh, and then we could get mainly to questing. Cause that's really what I want to show in this mod pack is the questing, um, the quests and, and completing them, but I'm just showing real quick here. So there we go. And last but not least, finally, I can do this. And we've got ourselves a whole bunch of um, tin ore dust that we just throw into our furnace, which doesn't have any. Let's grab some wood. Yeah, I got a ton of wood. So let's do that. Just going to use planks for now because, um, uh-oh, my hunger is low. Every time I do that with the hammer, every time I use the hammer, it just gets really low. So I, oh yeah, I have food. I should have cooked up that bread though. So let me grab, instead of using the bread right now, let's grab watermelon and our juicer. Oh, no, that's the bakeware. It looks like the juicer, doesn't it? There we go. There's our juicer. Now, food is not a problem anymore, as you can see. We've kind of overcome that, I want to say. I have so many apples and peaches growing, and we also have wheat that we can cook. Uh, we cook that in the furnace. The, we make bread with wheat, and we cook the bread in the furnace, and we get toast, and it's actually two hunger, um, two hunger bars, so it's really great. So there we go. See, not, do, not too bad, actually. I think I got the hang of it, kind of. It's just, like I said, a lot of tedious little things. So let me go back, get everything ready so we can make those. At least let's make the pulverizer and the igneous extruder in this episode. Okay, be back in a little bit. Okay, hi again. I'm back, and I collected as much as I could. I think we're okay. Um, made a bunch of glass, and I think we're ready. So, yeah, I also made a bunch of clay um, as well, just in case something happens to my bucket. Um, it really would take a long time if I don't have that ready So, so to make another bucket, so I just wanted to make sure we have lots of clay. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's see. Let's grab the iron. Let's grab the copper I know we need. You know what? I'm going to grab like everything just in case. 
Uh, I think we need like a little bit of everything, I want to say. And then we'll grab some redstone. And I can't remember if there was anything else. Let's make sure we do have some wood on us. Uh, we'll get some more planks. That's a lot. And we've got a little bit of cobble. I don't know if that's enough. So let's just go ahead to our crafting table. And first we're going to make the uh, igneous extruder. Igneous extruder. So there it is. And let's make the piston first. Okay, so we've got one piston there. And then we're going to go ahead and make the machine frame. There we go. Got the machine frame. Awesome. And now we're going to make the pneumatic servo. And I'm missing something. Let's see. I think it's the glass it's looking for. What is this? Silver? And you know what? I'm going to use silver. Because I have very little iron. I might even be out. Oh, gosh. Look what happened. Okay. That's because I have the crafting station. It's all crazy. And I never know how to... This gets all crazy. Okay. Because things stay in the crafting station. So... Okay, let me do this again. Sorry about that. Uh, it's a little late where I am, so I'm recording very late at night, and sometimes I, you know, it's the only time I can. What else could we use? Oh, we could use bronze, invar, which of course we won't. Aluminum and steel. No, we won't do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use silver. I'm going to go ahead and use silver. So we got one pneumatic. All right, awesome. Great. Now it's going to stay in there, right? That's how... It always stays, right? <laughs> okay, so, all right, so we've got that. So now I think we're ready to craft it, actually. There we go, our igneous extruder, awesome. So let's place that down and see how that works. Now, in the meantime, I'm, I'm gonna make a chest, actually. Let's go ahead and make a chest to put next to it. So it collects the um, cobble. All right, let's see if I got this right. I hope so, I hope so. I've actually never used an igneous extruder. I know lots of you are gonna be shocked it's a machine that I've never used before, so let's see how this works out. Um, I'm actually going to place it. Um, I don't want it to be right next to, because I don't think, hold on a second. I don't know if that loads into there right from a chest. Like, I don't think so. So let's go ahead and I'm going to place it here. And we're going to place our chest right next to it. There we go. All right. So we want to make cobble. So we need to place a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. So let's first get the water. And we actually just right click on it. And the great thing about this machine I know is it does not need power. So there we go. So there we go. We got some water. And actually, you know what? I don't think I need to... No. Do I need to fill it up? I don't think so now. Now what I'm going to do with this water. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got rid of the water. Um, I don't think we need to fill it up. I think it just constantly keeps making with just one bucket. So let's go ahead and grab lava. I have been making a bunch of lava. This should actually be a few buckets in here. But I know that the clay, um, the clay bucket now will disappear once we use the lava, right? Yeah. So there we go. It's working. Awesome. That's a good sign. All right. There we go. Now I guess I need to choose the side. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going... I hope it doesn't go from the chest into the engine. I don't think it will, right? Let me just see. No. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that once we run out of coal... But I guess it doesn't really matter. So now this is so much easier. You cannot... This is something that must be done as soon as possible. As soon as you get the supplies. Because really making, look at this, I mean, having to go over here and mine the um, cobble was just taking forever. It was a lot easier to just go directly right to gravel. But, you know, you do need cobble for some things, so it just is so slow. Well, even with a, even with, even with a hammer, it's still, it's really brutally slow. So this is something, in this mod pack, definitely getting an igneous extruder as soon as possible is a must, especially since we can't use those transfer nodes. If we could use those transfer nodes, um, let me just show you in case some people are just watching this for the first time. Um, if we could use these transfer nodes from extra utilities, we'd be great, but since they have been deactivated or you can't use them, basically can't craft them, um, then this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, the water and lava are like unlimited forever. So there we go. We're going to have tons of cobble soon. 
So now what we want to do is we want to place... Now, I know it stays, right? Let's see. I'm going to just... I know that the power stays. It should stay. There we go. Uh, so now... I think this will work if I place the pulverizer. Yeah, it still works. So you see it's still powered up, which is really good. It keeps its power even if you break it. All right, so let's go ahead and make a pulverizer real quick. Sorry, I, I talk a lot. I was just thinking through because... I was so frustrated with getting, you know, getting this, um, these ores. It took me a really long time, so. And that's part of the, the reason why I haven't recorded this video yet, because I knew it was just going to be very tedious. Okay, so let's get to this. Um, all right, so now what do we want to do? We want to make a pulverizer. I hope we have everything. We have six redstone, so I hope that's enough. I, I don't know, actually, if it will be enough. So there we go. We've got a redstone reception coil. Awesome. So, awesome. Okay. Redstone reception coil. Uh, another piston. There we go. Great. And we need a machine frame. And we've got one of those. Perfect. So that's great. And now we want to grab um, some flint. That's what we're missing here. I forgot to grab flint. There we go. I actually have more, but I think we only need two. Oh, yeah. We have a ton of flint here. Let's grab five of them, but I think we only needed two. And last but not least, let's go ahead and craft our pole. Oh my gosh, this is so great. <laughs> this is like such a relief. I feel so like relaxed now. Seriously, like this was like crazy. Okay, because this was so difficult to get to this point. All right, it's powering up. So we've got the survivalist engine here powering this up. And now what we're going to do is, it's not going to take it directly, I think, for now. But anyway, I'm not worried about, look, I'm not worried about, you know, automating all of this right now. All I want is to be able to not have to break it with a pickaxe or a hammer. So right now, let's just do this where, okay, I have to place the stacks. That's okay with me right now. This way I can get some sand right here. I'll switch it. If I need sand, I'll just, you know... I'll take the stack and move it in, back into the pulverizer, and we'll have one pulver, pulverizer for now. But definitely, I think very soon we could craft some more. The only thing I think I'm missing, and I probably need a lot more of, is redstone. I think that's... Let's go ahead and eat some toast. Redstone is probably what I need most of right now uh, to be able to make some more of these machines. So, Especially from thermal expansion. So... Let's see, um, right here. Yeah, I don't have any more. This is where I had all the redstone, so I only have three left. So I really have to start working on getting dust and, s and sifting dust. And then we definitely want to get an activator, an autonomous activator going. There we go. Yeah, and we need those Invar ingots, which you guys let me know in the last episode that nickel is the same as a ferris so basically it'll be really easy to craft at this point because i have a lot of i have quite a bit of supplies except for the redstone we're doing really good so yeah so we'll work on that next episode and just get things not all automated but moving along because the part of not being able to do anything because i just it was taking me so long to make the ores it just was brutal so right now this is like the turning point i want to say this is going to speed a lot of things up so i want to i want to thank you all for your comments you guys give me great ideas and let, help me out also in a lot of um things that maybe make things easier for me maybe i'm doing it you know i i take um i do things in different ways and you guys definitely um I, want, I appreciate and like to hear everyone's opinion on how they go about the whole process so we will be working on quests next i think now we are ready to go back to quests um but i do have to automate that as soon as possible so yeah we got so much stuff here and it's just um i died once right and <laughs> uh so yeah we have lots of quests to work on as you can see we've got the butter i remember this is the butter we need butter, cheese, right, milk. So, yeah, lots of things coming up. So thank you so much for your time. I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Remember to leave a like if you did. And uh, remember to share the video and favorite it. It helps me a lot. And I thank you so much for, um, for, for, sh for spending this time during this episode. And, uh, yeah, remember to leave a comment. I will read them all. So sorry, it is a little late for me. So I'm a little out of sorts, I guess. I'm very exhausted today. So I will get a good night's sleep now. Thanks again. Hope to see you in the next episode. See you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.